Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. So we made it to the airport. It is bright and early. It's just us and the roosters are up. Yeah, it's, as a matter of fact, a lot of the places you even get coffee aren't open right now. But I found one. <laughs> I just need one. The problem with the airport is they get you here, you can't bring liquids through security. Right. And then they can charge you whatever you want. $3.50 for that little tiny cup of coffee. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, but it is vital to your like well-being. Yes. And we made it through security without a problem. No drug sniffing dogs this time. Rachel didn't get stopped because she doesn't look anything like her driver's license. The lady just gave me a second look and she was like, hmm, what happened? And I said, I lost a bunch of weight and I don't want to have to go back to the DMV. And she was like, you go girl. <laughs> And we made it through like with all of our electronics. That's the one I was really worried about. Like taking, you know, like a GoPro style camera and a regular camera and an iPad and a laptop and like trying to get all of that through without anybody grabbing it because it's like everything's gotta be in its own separate bin. We we get nervous for nothing, I think, sometimes. Yeah. But it's just and I don't like checking bags either. So we're trying to do this like Check checking one. only one bag. And that's just because there's like liquids in it. I snuck like one more pair of shoes in my bag that we were checking and it put it over the weight limit. I told you, like you were at the weight limit, do not add one more thing. But How I many pairs of shoes do you need for three days? Just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Like the shot, like I hope you're gonna wear every pair of like the 20 pairs that you brought with you. I may wear two at the same time. <laughs> I may go one, one foot heel, one foot sneaker. Nice job. Well, we are going to kind of relax. Mm -hmm. I have not slept. I spent all night long working on my computer, editing videos. So I hopefully am gonna have a video go up like before we get on the plane, but I didn't finish putting like all the little tags in it. So this internet was kind of slow this morning as we were leaving and I'm like, um, we have to leave in 20 minutes, but the video is not uploaded yet. So I'm gonna try to finish just it go, from my phone. Go. So I haven't gone to sleep. And then I was like treating the dog because she's got like a skin irritation and I'm putting like medicine on her and it really smells. It's stinky. It's like a sulfur. Yeah, it something. really smells bad. So I'm planning on sleeping on the plane and then I'm going to do a zip fizz. Except for I did drink a Zevia energy drink on the way over here for some stupid reason. I was going to say good luck going to sleep now. You know, it's really fun. Sometimes in the morning when Anthony and I have a long day at work, I do a Zevia energy and a zip fizz at the same time. Dear Lord, are you like half crazy by the time? Oh yeah, like within 10 minutes, you're like, okay, I can do anything now. Right, let's go paint the house. So we will check in with you guys. Maybe we'll check in on the plane and then we'll check in once we get to Austin. So we made it, we landed. We made it. We're actually like 30 minutes early. I know, that's like a first. So the first thing we have to do before we do anything. Go to the bathroom. Find a bathroom because with all the water we drank, I cannot believe we made it through that flight and never had to get up. But we had I somebody know. next to us. I didn't want to disturb them. I know, I, that's the entire reason why I didn't get up because I was in the middle and I just like hate having to make somebody like get up in order for me to get out. So let's go find a bathroom yes, and then we gotta get a rental car. All right, yay! Okay, I just wanna say this. For everybody who keeps telling us that it's really hot in Texas, you guys don't know what heat is. It is not as hot as Florida. This it's is not delightful. that hot. This feels really comfortable and I'm wearing a jean jacket. Of course, you're probably gonna jinx yourself. This is it's heat. not hot, it's gonna get hot. This is not heat compared to what we've been going through in the last few days. Maybe it's the humidity. They don't have as bad a humidity. <laughs> nice. How cute. Oh my goodness, it's so nice and tidy. The best part of going to a hotel is feeling like, I don't have to clean this place, <laughs> right? I mean, even though we sort of clean it up every morning. So this is a pretty nice room. I mean, we always try to get a room that has the kitchen and take a look at this. I mean. This is pretty awesome. It's got a nice little stove top, microwave. I love this tile backsplash. We have a dishwasher and then we have a full size refrigerator. And uh, no ice cube maker, Rachel. I can't believe when's the last time you saw like one of these. What are these things? Oh my goodness. Actual ice cube trays. Is that an ice cube tray? Yeah. So. It's nice and cold. And then usually we end up, it always gives you like glasses and probably down up here, there's some like pots and stuff like that or down here. 
Yeah, down here we have pots and pans. So this is always perfect because this way we don't have to worry about stuff. We'll go out to eat a couple times, but then we'll also get stuff. So if we're getting back late, we can make some eggs, we can make some hamburgers, and it takes care of us. So let's go see what Rachel's doing. Most likely she is like moving in because she loves to just unpack everything. Me, I want to go to a hotel and live out of a suitcase, but Rachel wants to act like this is her house. No way. You have to settle in. <laughs> You have to. I have to put like all my stuff out so I can find it. Otherwise, like I'll go crazy in the morning. Not for nothing. I don't think our house is this neatly organized. Hey, the only thing is the hotel gives you a clean sleep. It's already cleaned. It's already ready to go. The beds are all made. No laundry to do. So I want to put all of my underwear in their drawers. So here's my question. We asked this when we went to Dallas, but we have a lot more subscribers now. When you go to a hotel, are you a... Uh, hey, I don't have to clean it, I'm gonna make it a mess? Or are you the kind of person that has to clean up before the maid comes in so that you don't look like you're a slob? Gotta clean it first. No, I'm the kind of person that wants to make it messy and then I'm gonna hang the do not disturb sign out because I don't even want you to come in my room. <laughs> Total opposites. So Rachel's gonna finish putting everything away and then first thing we need to do is go find like a Walmart or a grocery store and get some eggs I mean, we can find the Whole Foods, yeah. something to get some like pasture-raised eggs and just some staples to get, get us going for the next four days. I wonder if there's some different stuff like meat products in Austin that they don't have. I don't know. Home. We'll have to go look. We'll check in with you guys later. So we found our hotel room. It is super nice. It's very nice. It's a Marriott. Yeah. So it's a Marriott Residence Inn. And now we are going to go, tonight we have a like meetup with people from Redmond Real Salt. So we're gonna go take a look at like where exactly we need to go. Cause we get lost really easily. Speak for yourself. No, seriously, very easily. I'm really shocked with Austin though. Like I didn't realize how rural it was, at yeah. least where we're at. Cause we're used to Dallas. Yeah, we're used to going to Dallas where it's like very like, you know. Ultra modern. And modern and stuff. But right now I am hungry and I'm thirsty and I'm trying to stay away from my aspartame drinks because I'm really tempted to go find a 7-Eleven and get a big giant 64 ounce drink. So I'm so proud of you for holding on. So I'm not promising hold I'm gonna on hold on for the whole day. thing. <laughs> but right now we're gonna run into Whole Foods because it turns out it's pretty close to the hotel room. And then Costco. In, there's a Costco here. So maybe we'll come back over to that stuff later. But we found some cool stuff at the Dallas Costco. The Costco's right there. That we did not have in Florida. So let's run into Whole Foods and get some drinks. I want to get some Zevia. And then I saw Five Guys if you want to get something to eat. We can do a Five Guys run. I'm always up for Five Guys. They have good burgers. I haven't had that in a long time. <laughs> So we found the fancy area of Austin, Texas. This is super fancy pants. This is gorgeous. You know what else we found? Elevation. I'm ready to move here. What is that? I don't even know what a hill is. It's been so long since I've been out of New York. It's so beautiful. It's a mountain, a grassy mountain, and there's no like trash underneath it. Oh my it. gosh, look at that. Gorgeous. Wow, I feel like I'm in upstate New York again. This is beautiful. I'm ready to move. You want to move? Let's move to Texas. I love Texas. I, I love could, visiting Texas. I could live in our hotel room with like room service and stuff. That'd be awesome. So the people here are so nice. I just love it. By the way, so Rachel's got a Zevia. God just blessed us again. And we decided we're going to try to stay away from like getting fountain sodas. We walk at a Whole Foods, sale on Zevia. Not only are there a sale on Zevia, there's a sale on our favorite seltzer water, Waterloo's two for seven. Waterloo. So we got a bunch of Waterloo's and a bunch of Zevias to put in our hotel because we are here for four days and yeah. we'll just bring drinks with us everywhere. We did bring a couple of shaker cups so we can put some ice in there. And One mile, turn left onto Road. 
I miss our British gentleman that tells us where to go. Well, I like the British lady. Oh wow, look at wow, that. This we're is just going gorgeous. over a bridge. This is so pretty. So we found the place that we're gonna go to for the night with Redmond Real Salt, and now we're gonna go eat. And we just found this like really interesting looking burger place. It's called Hot it? Creek Burger Company. Hot Creek Burger Company. So we're gonna go check it out. So we got our burgers. These things look delicious. They are, and we got a little side of lettuce. Yeah, so it came, we, we didn't know when you ordered it in a bowl, it didn't come out lettuce, but they just gave us the lettuce. So here's what we got. So we got, what did we get? We got two burgers, mm -hmm. two burger patties. Mine is actually three burger patties with pepper jack cheese, jalapenos. What else was on there? The spicy sour, sa sauerkraut. Spicy sauerkraut. Avocados. Avocado. And then there was something else on it as well. Um, bacon. Bacon. I remember the lettuce and then some kind of like hot sauce. But at least they put all of the ingredients on the back of the hot sauce container. Yeah. Cool. So this looks interesting. Are you ready to eat? I cannot wait to eat. I am so hungry. What do you think? That was delicious. Now I'm like totally ready for a nap. Like it hit me hard. At first I looked at the burger and I was like, well, this isn't much. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Like this isn't going to probably fill me up. And now I'm like, Oh my that gosh. was a lot of food. I mean, you've only been eating 1,200 calories for the last like nine days. It hit me hard. Like I am full on ready to hibernate, but I really want to go back to the hotel and go in the pool because it has one of those like, what's it called? Like the pools that go on forever. Infinity, Infinity pools. Infinity pools. Yeah. I thought it was really good. I love the fact that they were like super keto friendly. You actually had your option. You can order regular with a bun. You can order it as a lettuce wrap or you can order it in a bowl. Mm -hmm. They had it where they had a bunch of different kind of cheeses. They had Swiss and pepper jack. They had the avocado, the bacon, sauerkraut. So there were all kinds of options. So like definitely a good keto place to come in Austin. It's the definitely. Hat Creek Burger Company. Hat Creek Burger Company. So check it out if you're in Austin. So it's 3.40, we're back at the hotel relaxing a little bit. We actually made it into the pool. You know, you never actually go into a pool, even if you have a pool, unless you're on vacation. Yeah, we have that nice pool in our backyard, and every year in the summer, we're like, we're gonna make this the summer. We go in the, summer pool, of the pool every day. Yeah, big plans. We make huge plans. Yeah, we do it for about two weeks, and then we're like, it is too hot to be in the pool. And then I think to myself, well, you know, when I get overheated, I'm just gonna go in the pool then, like midday, and, right. you know, take no. a shower. We always say we're going to wait until the afternoon when like the sun has gone down a little bit. Then either you're cold or it's raining because it like rains every day between two and four o'clock. Or mosquitoes. Or mosquitoes. And those are like no joke. Yeah. And they love me for some reason. My, my grandparents used to say it's because I'm so sweet, but I don't think so. Like they're just attracted to you. I can be in a real nasty mood and they still bite meanwhile me. we can like walk through a swarm of them i won't have one on me and rachel will come out with like 150 bites should he be bragging on this <laughs> while i'm talking about getting eaten alive on the regular that's why we stay inside true so i am enjoying relaxing i brought some people magazines my mom gave me a whole slew a whole year's worth of people magazines to relax with so i'm finding out what was Reba McIntyre up to in, in April? Is she like the last woman on earth that still gets magazines delivered? Possibly, but thank goodness she does. What would I read? <laughs> when I'm just like relaxing. I was reading my new Joyce Meyer book on the right. plane, and now I just kind of like, I don't want to have to take notes or anything, so finding out what's going on with Reba back in April. I'm sure that a lot has happened in May and June right. with Reba, but like I'll find out on the next you'll vacation. Find that, yeah, you'll find that out in five years. Some, sometime in December or something, yeah, we'll I catch forgot up. what it was like to just relax together in a pool on vacation. We have not it's done nice. this in so long. It's really relaxing. And we've had a good afternoon. We actually went to a new grocery store. Of course, only us weirdos. It's like, not a new grocery store. It's a new grocery store for us. About seeing a new grocery store and it was H&B. H-E-B, H-N-B, H-E, I think it's H-E-B, right? I know yeah. a, a lot of you guys talk about it. But we don't have we, that. We don't have those by us, so. It was nice. It reminded me a little bit of Winn-Dixie. Yeah. It seemed like they had a little bit more products. We picked up a couple of things, you know, but they're like Texas things. I don't know if they're H-E-B things. Like yeah, They have an we, extensive beef jerky they collection. They have a great beef jerky collection. So I got a couple of beef jerkies and then I found, I don't even remember the name of it, 
but we found this new soda that's on the market that is sweetened with erythritol yes. and monk fruit. Yes, we gotta check so that out. So we're going to actually do a five things review on that soda from here because I've never seen it before. Never seen it. And to make the challenge even harder, we got cola. Cola is tough. Cola is tough, right? Like I love You've stevia. You've already got or, like a like a decision made about what cola should taste like. Right, but I love stevia, and I'll drink the colas, but it's not my favorite. Yeah. Because I think your like mind is always comparing it to Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, Coca Cola, and I remember even growing up, we always ever got like the Chex Cola or whatever the cheapest, cheapest soda is. Yeah. And you just never wanted cola because it just didn't taste like Coke. Well, to me, boy, the sun is just like beating in my eyes, down. and I don't have any sunglasses with me. Would you like some? Would you like to borrow mine? Nope, you got them. You can. Yeah, but I want you to have sunglasses. There you go. On. Well, I, I I'll take a rest, and you can have some. So. They're actually guys' well, sunglasses. You. I know we got them in the express. But the girls' ones, I didn't like those. <laughs> I like the guys' ones better. Um, but yeah, like I like Diet Coke. To me, cola is Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. If you give me a Diet Pepsi, I'm like, oh, when the waiter would come over and be like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have Coke products. We only have Pepsi. Is that okay? And it's like, no, it's really not I don't okay. mind Diet Pepsi. I, I look at Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke. So if they can pull off cola, it gets my seal of approval. You, yeah. If they can come anywhere close to cola, like a decent cola. What is your good cola next to Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi in the past? Um, RC. Yeah. RC Cola. Yeah. I mean, there's quite a few. It's just usually the cheaper brands that you don't like. And I, I don't even think the Zevia ones are bad. You're just trying to compare it. I actually think my favorite Zevia Cola is the caffeine free. I don't know. They nailed really? caffeine free, and I usually never I like usually caffeine free. I usually can't stand caffeine free. The I caffeine can't even free drink is really diet good. Coke caffeine free. Yeah, no, their caffeine free is really good. What are so, they doing in there? I don't know. What's happening with caffeine free that it tastes so different? Yeah, I will give you a little hint on this cola though. It does have five grams of carbs in it. But Great it's, day. But it's zero net carbs because it's got erythritol uh, in it. So it's a mixture of erythritol and monk fruit. Okay. But all of the rest of the ingredients are really good. So, so. they're playing the, the, the sugar alcohol math game. Yeah. I mean, and again, it's not a game. Most people don't do total carbs. And, you know, again, your body doesn't digest the sugar alcohol. So True. you don't have to count it. We just choose to count it. Yeah. So, but I'm excited to try that just to try something different. I'm glad to see whether it's monk fruit or erythritol or... Stevia, I'm glad to see another company coming on and Man, I competing love against new Zevia. products yeah. on the market. And if we love seeing new products come on the market, I can't wait until tomorrow. Yeah, because what that's going to do with the new products coming on the market, it's going to drive the cost down on the other one. Yeah. So long as Zevia is the only like stevia sweet exactly. and coke the they get to keep one. charging five dollars but if you've got four or five six brands all hitting the grocery stores yep. you're already seeing it like we showed up down here and heb had it on sale for three dollars and 97 cents for a six pack uh -huh. whole foods had it on sale for three dollars and ten cents if you had amazon prime that's a giant wasp i mean there. so you know the more competition the lower the prices get the better for us true so we're gonna relax for a little while in the pool and then we've got to get dressed to go to a night with Redmond Wow what an incredible day we had and it got capped off by an incredible evening I am still processing how awesome this night was so we got invited to a very special event called an evening with Redmond it was hosted by Redmond Real Salt thank you Redmond Real yes, Salt yes thank you so much and by the way you know Redmond Real Salt was actually the first company to send us any kind of a product to like try out on our video so it was really awesome thanks for taking a chance on these two crazy ketos yeah and it was great because we got to meet the owner of the company we got to meet a bunch of people who work with the company super but nice it was also nice because there were a lot of people from the keto community there i mean not a lot of people but like a decent amount of people and people that we really respect and yes. that we've learned a lot from their videos and getting to meet them in person was such a privilege yeah i mean somebody we feel like we have a relationship with some of these people that you like watch or you message back and forth on youtube and instagram and to finally get to like reach out and shake their hand and everything so dr barry was there you know, uh, Keto Savage, who else was there? Danny Logan Vega, Sneed. Logan Sneed, Goody Beats. And it was just nice to 
spend an evening just kind of talking to people about like how you got to where you are, what your life story was. Now you say shake hands, but I think I hugged everybody. Yes, Rachel I'm hugged a hugger. everybody. Like they didn't even have a choice. Like I'm sorry. somebody tried to be like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's like, I don't care. I hug you anyway. I'm not good about personal space. No, you're respecting not. Respecting that. That's probably good because that's how you got me. <laughs> By not respecting his personal space. <laughs> So well, I'm excited about tomorrow too, and I'm hoping that we will get to meet some subscribers. Yeah, so if you guys are in town for KetoCon, please send us a private message on Instagram. We are going to check Instagram yeah. all day long, and we're gonna check it, and um, we'll try to definitely find a place that we can hook up and meet. Uh, we are going to get there tomorrow morning. We'd like to see Dr. Barry speak. Yeah. And uh, we just kind of want to walk around and see some of the different products. I mean, we actually are going to be having a nice giveaway coming up with some Redmond Real Salt stuff that we received tonight. So you're going to have to stay tuned for that. I'm excited about that. Me too. So, but overall, this was a productive day. You think you'll sleep tonight? I'm going to try to sleep, but it is 1030 at night. The only thing we had today was that burger. So I'm gonna make a couple of eggs, and then we're going to go to bed. Yeah. So get I gotta edit tomorrow. this video so that they have this video for tomorrow. Well, I hope they like this video. What do yeah, you think? I think so. So if you like what you guys saw today, do us a favor and hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.